Hello, y'all. My name's Pansy Arlington, and I moved to the gold fields all the way from Kentucky in the old U.S. of A. Of course, my name wasn't Pansy then. It was Margaret Rita Wilmot. Why'd I change my name, you ask? Well, Welcome to Pansy's Pleasure Palace of Pleasure. Um, this is our 18 plus room here in the 130 Women Gallery. So uh, enter at your own discretion. We are attributing all women who contribute to the culture and place of the goldfields. So Pansy was an absolutely incredible woman who we thought we would include um, a little bit of scandal in her life um, a big contributor to the culture of the goldfields undeniably so i'll give you a little sneak peek of, of some of these artworks in here um, and we encourage you to come in and actually experience the feel and the vibe in, in pansy's pleasure of palace We've got here this gorgeous, um, thank you very, very much to Sassy Suze, who's helped us through a lot of things in the project. Um, she has donated us this absolutely gorgeous, beautiful day bed. So come on in and uh, get comfy and, and enjoy Pansy's story. You might like to have a uh, little cup of tea while you're at it. But we do recommend maybe not to put the um, put the matches in. They're available via our silent auction, going hot at the moment. Um, our showcase piece in this room is this incredible one. This is digital artwork. The detail, the detail, the glare is terrible. The detail in this gorgeous artwork is absolutely incredible it's by local artist jessica vassi or known as salty gears on instagram um her digital artwork is absolutely incredible so we printed this one nice big nice and bold and it was one of our uh, um, auction night pieces at live auction this one's already sold raising funds for goldfields women's Healthcare center because women's health, what could be more important in um, Pansy's profession? Also over here on the silent auction we have this really cool mixed media piece by Carol Thompson, one of our project producers. This one here, the hottest piece of real estate in this room, Lady in Red. It's a textile piece by Kelly Akare, and you can see why. Check out the detail in there. Absolutely gorgeous. This piece um, on the auction sheet is up to, where are we? Lady in red, do do do, $800. Going hot if you would like that one. Raise some funds for Goldfields Women's Healthcare Centre. Come in and place your bids. All the pieces in here have got um, some bids on them at the moment. All looking really good. Auction closes Sunday the 2nd of April. So if you like what you see, send someone in or get in yourself to um, place your bids. Another Kelly Akaru piece here. Ooh, I'll try not to get too much of this one so, so we don't get snipped off of the uh, social media. Kelly's actually taken an image some real photo stock from some uh, brothels in the US. I think we managed to find that. Lady on a couch. So the thing about Pansy is we don't actually have any photos of Pansy. We don't know um, exactly what she looked like because she was before those days of being documented by photographs readily available. Uh, we have here Red Masquerade by Kelly Akaro. Nice little number that one. A pencil sketch by Sarah Lupi. There's a bit of a story about Pansy and a revolver. But Pansy didn't get in any trouble. She got all the guys in trouble instead. And then we have um, some charcoal, whiskey, and red lipstick works by Linda Ray. We have Whiskey Soaked Woman 2, 1, 
and whiskey soaked women and malta pool so those ones there have all got some um, hot bids on them as well if you're looking for something a little bit special and different here's pansy's story she's from the turn of the century actually in the days before uh hay street was called hay street that uh, she was there right from the beginning lots of crazy tales in her life got away with lots of um lots of things well we suspect she got away with them because she was never the one that got in trouble um it just seemed like trouble followed her around strangely enough but a cool woman um a different experience in this room we look forward to seeing you in the 130 women gallery we are open from 10 a.m till 2 p.m from wednesday to sunday and our last day is the 6th of april just before Easter, we close the Thursday before Easter, that's our last day. The auction finishes Sunday the 2nd at 2 p.m. So get in and check your bids, guys. Uh, make sure you up those. If you've made a bid on there and you can tell that you've been outbid, make sure you come on in and we'll see you by the 2nd.